cultivating your English, grow your language skills. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, the place where language learning becomes a part of your daily life. Today, we're diving into a word that's all about growth and nurturing, cultivate. Stick with us to explore this term, understand its meanings, and learn how to use it in your everyday English conversations. Let's start at the very beginning. The word cultivate comes from the Latin cultivatus, which means to till, to labor over, or to promote growth. It carries a sense of care, effort, and improvement. When we cultivate something, we're actively working to improve or develop it. And this can apply to a wide range of contexts, not just farming. Traditionally, cultivate is associated with preparing the land for growing crops. But its use has branched out significantly. Subsection 2.1, personal growth. When we talk about cultivating habits, skills, or qualities, we're talking about developing them deliberately. For example, she cultivates a sense of gratitude by writing in her journal every day. Subsection 2.2, Relationships and Societies. Cultivate can also be about nurturing relationships or building networks. In a social context, he cultivates friendships wherever he goes. Subsection 2.3, Business and Careers. In the professional world, cultivating can mean enhancing one's career or business prospects. For instance, she's cultivating her professional network to open up more career opportunities. To truly grasp the word, let's see how it's used in different scenarios. Subsection 3.1, Cultivate in Sentences. I'm trying to cultivate a love for reading. The teacher cultivates a passion for learning in her students. Subsection 3.2. Variations of cultivate. Don't forget its other forms. Cultivated as an adjective. He is a cultivated individual, well-versed in art and literature. And cultivation as a noun. The cultivation of these plants takes patience and skill. And there you have it. The word cultivate is all about growth, development, and enrichment. Whether it be in a garden, within oneself, or amongst each other in society. We hope you feel ready to plant this word in your vocabulary garden and watch your language skills blossom. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to helping you cultivate your English skills in our next video. Happy learning!